In this video, I'm going to create a robot arm using Onshape. I'm going to create it horizontally, and I'm going to create it orthographically looking at my front plane. So I have selected my front viewport, scrolled over, panned a little bit to the left, and then in order to start, we will select our front viewport, and we will create a sketch. If you recall, in my robot head video, I made the robot head five units tall. So just using some basic proportions, I think I will make the arm at least 20 units long. So we'll make it horizontally. Um, I'm going to break it up into the upper arm, which will be about seven units. The elbow, which will be two to three units. The lower arm, which will probably be six, and then the hand, which will be an, an additional uh, eh, four or five, whatever, units long. Um, I'm going to use a rectangle to create my upper arm. And I would like it to be seven inches uh, total in length. So I'm going to start by creating a line that's three and a half units long. This will give me the center point. The end point of this line will give me the center point of the center point rectangle that I'm going to create with. Just touch off on my origin in order to snap to, and then we will create this. So this has a length of seven, and I would like it to be a total of two inches tall. So this rectangle is seven by two. When we're done, We'll hit the check mark, select sketch one, and extrude it. We'll extrude it two units. So we should have, that was incorrect, so let's go into edit. The depth should be two. And then we'll hit the check mark. So this is now two by two by seven. I like it. I'm gonna select this face and create a sketch on that face. See that our sketch two sketch plane is created. I'd like to find the center of the apparent center of that square. So we'll find the corner, snap to the corner, find this corner and snap to that corner. With our lines created, I'll create a circle at this center point and put a dimension on this of 1.25 and hit the check mark. Next we'll select sketch 2 and extrude that. We'll extrude this 2 inches. Notice that the area that we are extruding is the circle. When we're done we'll hit the check mark. So here is our upper arm. Here is our elbow. I will select the base of this circle, cylinder I should say, and create a sketch here. We will again use the center point rectangle, find the center point of the circle, making sure we're snapped to, and drawing out a rectangle. I will dimension these. If you recall, we made the arm two by two. Your upper arm is a bit thicker and bigger than the lower arm, so we'll make this maybe 0.175, and this value as well, 1.75. So we now have a 1 and 3 quarter by 1 and 3 quarter square that is centered on our cylinder. We'll hit the check mark when we're done, select sketch 3, and extrude this. The upper arm, we made 7. So I believe we'll make this one six inches. And when we're finished, we'll hit the check mark. Let's rotate this a bit. Select our front viewport. And then select the top corner of this so we can kind of see this linear. If you notice, the front plane is 
coincided with the back face. So this front plane that's selected does not cut through the center of our arm. It would be very nice if it did because that's where we would like the hand to be. I'm going to show you a new tool that we can use that will allow us to create a sketch plane that is parallel to an existing plane. Here is our plane tool. The entity that we would like to offset from is our front plane. Notice that that's what's highlighted. And the offset distance is currently at 1. If you recall, from the back face where we made the sketch, we extruded this rectangle out 2. So half of that distance is this distance of 1. And we can, in fact, I believe, rename this and we'll call this center line. We have our value and we'll hit check. We now have a plane called center line. I'm going to select that and I'm going to hit sketch. And then I'm going to hit front. And the sketch that we make will be on our center line construction plane or sketch plane. Create a line. going to create some pretty basic robot fingers. I would take a little bit more time if we were going to be using Rhino and texturing these, but for the purpose of what we are doing, I'm more than happy making this my robot hand. You'll notice that it's centered in our it's centered on our lower arm, and we'll hit the check mark. We'll select Sketch 4, we will go to Extrude, and I'm going to see if we have an option that says in both directions, and I think that is this symmetric. So you'll see that it's now extruding one unit to the left, as well as one unit to the right or behind and in front from your sketch it's extruding in both directions since this arm is 1.75 a total of one I might do a total of 0.75 make it somewhat narrower and we'll hit the check mark front, tilt it. Not my best work, but using the program we have, it's acceptable. At this point, I think I will put some chamfers on these four edges. 0.2, let's maybe do a value of 0.25, make it a little bit larger, hit the check mark. Next we will use a chamfer of 0.2 on these, since our arm, lower arm was a little smaller. Maybe on this top face, I can create a sketch. Not what I wanted. I want a corner rectangle. Selecting sketch five, I'm going to extrude, remove.
little spot for a battery or something of some sort inside this robot arm. And I will put a 0.25 fillet. done filleting those corners we will hit the check mark there's a nice little slotted hole could fill it face it down just to round those fingers off going back to the front tilting it ever so slightly and showing this in isometric. We can hide the front plane as well as the right plane as well as the center line plane. Here is an example of a robot arm that I've created.